All right, welcome to episode two, um, and I'm going to talk about ena enabling tooltips and understanding TSM price sources. So my assumption is that you already installed TSM and have the desktop app running. Uh, if you don't, Samadin uh, has a much better video than I could make on his YouTube, YouTube channel. I'll post a link in the description below. Uh, first, uh, what you want to do is enable some tooltips. So when you hover over an item, uh, you get a lot of different uh, information on it. So if you go to settings, tooltips, uh, it'll have a whole list here. Uh, one of the things uh, to keep in mind, um, I mean, you can probably read read through this as I'm going through, but you know, sometimes you want to look at what, well, what is my auctioning operation? What is my crafting operation? What's my do I have a mailing operation? Do I want to, uh, if I have that set up? And you can add some other things in here. I haven't really worked on vent warehousing or you know, I've done a little bit of vendoring stuff. But anyway, so like for um, uh, silver leaf, you might want to know what the milling value might be. So this might actually be um, if you have a, an inscriptionist or a jewel crafter you might want to know what things do so anyway uh, settings so go to the tooltip settings set set any of these that you think you might uh, be interested vendor buy price is probably a really good one so if you can uh, like if you hover over coarse thread uh, vendor buy price for for me is a a copper so if if that's not uh, um, showing listed so sometimes if you run over uh, hover over something and it's got a vendor buy price and hey uh, maybe I shouldn't buy that off the auction house so anyway um, uh, they also have you can list all your um, custom uh, price strings custom sources um, and uh, the only thing uh, one thing to note is that custom sources are like account wide so if I if I go to another I, I'm on a new realm here with new characters and everything so all my custom sources are coming through and I can actually have those uh, listed out if, if I want to um, I I prefer full inventory because uh, it will tell me who has it um, I guess if you just do simple inventory it just says hey you've got one um, I sometimes I like to know who who's got what so if I need to um, get it, um, likewise, purchase information, sale. So these these are going to come into play um, when you start uh, creating your operations. So I would suggest uh, selecting all of these. You might not need historical. Um, you know, region historical price. Those might not really th be that relevant, uh, but um, anyway. And then crafting cost, detailed crafting cost, detailed crafting cost will tell you. Uh, it, it won't. It'll tell you uh, all the components that go into it. So maybe if you're wanting to, I, I don't have an item here to to look at, but anyway. Um, so what you're going to want to do there's a uh, TSM if you do TSM sources it will list out um, all the different sources um, you know basically kind of giving you what the keyword is that you use in your operations um, and then maybe kind of a short expert explanation of what what each one is so um average buy price uh that's going to be uh if you've bought it from uh i guess either a vendor or off the auction house it's going to i think it's off the auction house uh, it it's going to average all your prices from the day 1 that you uh have data for so uh anyway so the the big one that you'll need for your um any of your operations, you're always going to want to use uh, DB Market, uh, but <clears throat> so that you know, going from the TSM website, DB Market is a weighted 
14-day average of auctions listed for a particular item on your realm's auction house, favoring the most recent three days of pricing data. This value does not indicate what an item will sell for, only what an item is currently being listed for on your realm's auction house. So, uh, like, uh, I happen to have these uh, shoulders uh, in my bag, and for some reason, market value is, uh, you know, 19 k uh, Are they worth that much? I... Uh, that seems pretty high for just a pretty much something I would probably vendor uh, but the th the thing is is a uh, DB market is going to be what um, someone that or a group of people that are listing an item for think that that's what they think they should get for it you know it's not necessarily uh, it's just a number. It's like, um, hey, I think this car is worth a uh, hundred thousand uh, dollars, but you know it's a beat up uh, thing. So it it may not actually be worth what people are listing things for. So that's where some of the other numbers kind of help uh, give you some guidance on maybe where something should be priced at. Uh, so uh, the other thing is min buyout. So that's actually uh, DB min uh, buyout. <clears throat> that is not uh, updated uh, continuously. It's you know so somebody uh, so what what TSM does is it goes out and pulls uh, all the uh, uh, numbers from the auction house. Uh, you know and so one of the ones is D the min buyout. So uh, 37 minutes ago. Uh, it found this item for uh, 21,000 uh, gold. <clears throat> now, somebody could have bought it or uh, or canceled it and relisted it for a different amount, and that is not going to be uh, up to date uh, except for, you know, we know that 37 minutes ago that, that was what it was uh, value, the value of it was. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, uh, so the th and then like if you look at region min buyout average, so that's that's they're what they're doing with the region is um, is across all realms in your region for a particular item, and it's the last pricing update uh, processed by the Blizzard's uh, auction house API. Um, DB region market average is basically like a market the db market across your your realms uh region uh so and I, I don't you know i'm not quite sure what region uh you know it might be um i'll, I'll have to look at how how those are divided up it could just be us european oceanic kind of things so uh it might be uh pretty broad markets but that that kind of gives you a better idea of what stuff might be priced at and that's what other people are pricing things out uh, pricing things at um, uh, let me see historical DB uh, historical is uh, is the 60-day average of DB market value for a particular item uh, on your realms auction house DB region historical same thing except it's uh, throughout the region um, one of the things I use quite a bit is this uh, region sale average uh, down uh, down near the bottom there, uh, so which is like 1,410 gold. Um, that's supposedly that's not really a great number to use uh, because it it's based on only TSM users. So. And I guess the thought behind that is TSM users are going to be the ones buying stuff really, really low. And th that therefore, that sale average uh, is going to be uh, <clears throat> probably represent like the lowest value that it, it it's, you know, or it might represent like a really, really good deal uh, to buy something at. So I actually use it to kind of... Uh, you know, maybe push things down a little bit more to a reasonable uh, value uh, for sales and stuff. Uh, so, region sale rate, uh, 
that is supposedly, if I understand it correctly, like 0 0.01 means 1% of the items listed in the region uh, sell each day. And the thing is, is that that number is like the minimum that it's going to display. So that could be 0 0.0001 and uh, it just, it's just kind of rounding, well not rounding, but it's just listing the value that it's, uh, <coughs> the minimum amount that it, it it's uh, going to be list, uh, is going to show. So anyway, say, uh, and then like region average daily sold, that's, you might have something, uh, so like uh, with leather, that might be a little bit better. <coughs> Excuse me. So light leather, so 13% uh, of the auctions, so what this is, the sale rate is saying is 13% of the posted auctions are selling each day, and of those that are listed, uh, there's like an average of uh, 308 sold per day. So those two numbers are going to kind of, you're going to use those to maybe make a decision on how how many to post um, and maybe how long or you know uh, uh, things like that um, uh, let me think what else um, so when you go in to start creating your operations you're gonna want to use uh, those uh, values and stuff so let me I, I'm not gonna actually go through this so the deep like a default operation see they kind of they're doing some sort of uh, check you know uh, you know this is all this is all kind of complicated to figure out it's like well you can use the default one but it, it's a lot better to build uh, your own operations and understand uh, where those numbers are coming from and uh, things like that. In the next video, what I'm going to talk about is the minimum, maximum, and normal price. Um, but I think uh, I've covered enough for this video. Um, and you, you do want to get familiar with these uh, values here. I, I sometimes often forget what, you know, the spelling or something like that. So anyway, I um, hope, hope you like the video. Take care.